Okay, so since my previous video, we've uh, done a lot of work on bringing this concept uh, to a more mature point. Uh, we can see here that uh, I've built a 25 key matrix keyboard for this. If I kind of peel back this layer here, you can sort of see that we've got switches and diodes and everything hooked up down there. Uh, this is just kind of a test rig, so it's just some sticker paper uh, sitting on top of all that stuff. Uh, I've got an enclosure that I'm planning to do a, um, a real keypad out of uh, uh, kind of a plastic, a printable vinyl uh, that should give a nice surface to that. Um, but we can see here that uh, we've got a wide range of functions available to us from the axis selections. Uh, we can jog the axes continuously. Uh, we can home our axes. We have program commands. Uh, and other stuff like our feed and spindle overrides, uh, some of which I'll show briefly today. Uh, and then over here on the uh, display, uh, not a lot of stuff has changed. I have a few more things working in there, mostly just making the software actually a bit more mature so it all works well. So what I'm going to do just as a quick demo right here is we're going to start by homing all the axes and uh, we'll do that by hitting the axis selection and we can hit home and do it that way and that allows us to home each axis individually as you can see I've got two empty spaces on the keypad here haven't figured out what to put in there yet but uh, do, having a button to home all the axes at once uh, might be a good example for that um, what I'll do first is We'll start by showing some of the jog functions in a little more detail here. Uh, we can see that uh, we've got the x-axis selected and uh, let me just adjust the light a little. It should allow you to see the LCD a little bit better. And so we can see that we've got a little flashing cursor here letting us know that the x-axis is active. And I'm going to start off by hitting uh, that button here, which will put the uh, put the jog mode so that it jogs uh, one uh, tenth of an inch, a hundred thousandths of an inch uh, per move. And if we start spinning that here, we can see that that now starts to move in increments of uh, one tenth of an inch. If I set it down to one hundredth, we'll see it doing that and one thousandth there still working a little bit with the encoder as you could see that I had to click that through a few times uh, there's still some things going on in there that I haven't completely figured out uh, it doesn't um, it's a detented encoder so it has clicks in there that should correspond to each uh, each pulse out uh, but as you can see it's not working exactly like that yet uh, probably not a showstopper for actually using it uh, since what's important is that it you know it would be kind of bad if you clicked it once and it moved three times if it's doing one and you know not moving uh, that's not the worst thing in the world but it definitely is something to uh, you know to figure out a little bit more um, one other thing that's new this time is uh, I also have a feed rate override and this allows us to adjust the feed rate uh, while a program is running and as you can see when I hit that button there it turns the cursor on to show us that's active and I can now use the encoder to move that up and down uh, just, as, uh, just as we would expect and one thing I'll show you is that as I nice thing about how this works is as we move this up here uh, I'm gonna move the view over to the axis view on screen and if we look here on axis we can see that as I adjust the feed rate up and down the feed rate override we can see that that will make adjustments over there as well so those things do uh, do update each other back and forth uh, last up with everything positioned and homed 
I'll hit the play button and we can see that that now activates uh, the axis and by the same token I can hit the stop button and stop everything as well. So quick demo and update uh, we can zoom out here to see kind of the whole system as you can see it's still uh, kind of a big pile of wires flopping around on perf board and uh, breadboards but uh, it's definitely getting a bit more mature and we can see more of the functionality coming together uh, hopefully soon we'll uh, be able to get the software finished and get it into a real case and uh, maybe get some kits going thanks everybody hope you enjoyed it